my name is Nate, and today we're going to learn about test-driven development, or TDD for short. TDD is a process where you write your own unit test first, watch it fail, and then implement the necessary code to the module you're creating until the test passes. That's it. <laughs> Here's how it should be done. The unit tests you write should be specific and test particular components and different algorithms of the code you wish to test. The data used in the testing should be static and should not change at all. And it shouldn't be subject to something like an external API call. After writing your unit tests and implementing the code for them, if they all pass after you've run them, you're done. In this tutorial, we're going to be using Node version 10.16.3, Mocha version 8.3.2, and Chai version 4.3.2. So to start, we're going to initialize our Node.js project. I named my directory TDD, short for Test Driven Development. And I'll just leave that as the package name and just keep all the default key values for our package JSON file. Next, let's create our code files. I'm just going to create an index.js file and a test.js file. Touch index.js and test.js. We've got our JS files. And then next we are going to install the dependencies we need. First, we're gonna install Mocha. And we're going to also install Chai. And, and our dependencies are listed in our package JSON file. All right, let's start coding. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to import the module or class that we're going to be building using this test driven development process. In this case, we're going to create a cube class that has three methods, one that returns the length of all the sides on a cube, its surface area and its volume. So let's first initialize our cube class variable by uh, importing it from the index.js file. Oops, I misspelled cube. It's C-U-B-E. And then the next couple of things that we want to import or the one other thing is we're going to want to import also the expect function from chai. And what this function will do is it'll allow us to compare the values in our test cases. Now we want to define our test, so we will just call the describe function. And uh, We'll just call this the cube test. And that second parameter is a callback function. And within this callback function, each individual test step will be defined by calling the it function. So test one, we'll just call this, let's see, cube side length and that also takes a callback function with done as its parameter and let's just call this cube c1 and we'll just initialize it with a side of two side length of two and then We'll expect C1 dot get side length to equal two. And that is our first test step. And in our second one, we're going to want to test the cube surface area function
So let's call this C2. Let C2 be equal to new cube. And we'll just give this a side length of five. And so we want the C2 dot get surface area function. So a cube with a side length of five, one side of the cube will have an area of 25. And since a cube has six sides, the total surface area will be the area of one side times six. 25 times six is 150. So we'll be expecting 150 as our value here. And then the last step, we want to test the cube volume function. And in our third instantiation of Q3, we'll just, I don't know, throw in a value of seven this time. And we'll expect C3 dot get volume to equal And so the volume of a cube is its length and width and height multiplied by each other. And since the length and width is and height is the same on a cube, since all the side lengths are the same, our answer is going to be seven to the third power, which is 343. So those are our test steps. Now we just need to run them and get them to fail. And the next thing we're gonna need to do is go to our package JSON file. And uh, we are going to need to create a test um, NPM script. So as we can see here, we don't have a test specified, but all we'll need to do is uh, input mocha, that's our executable command, followed by the name of our test JavaScript file, which is just test.js. So we'll save that. And then all we'll have to do to test this out is uh, type npm test in our terminal in the same directory as our project. As you can see, all of our tests have failed as expected. Let's go about actually creating our module. So first, let's create our class cube, and our constructor will take a side length as its parameter. And the stop length will be equal to the incoming side length. And our methods, we have get side length. What else? Get surface area. And get volume. space these out for the sake of uniformity. Now our get side length function will just simply return this length surface area. This will return the surface area of one side, which is this dot length times this dot length times six, and then get volume. 
will simply be the uh, volume of the cube, length times width times height. To make this shorter, we can just simply call math.pow this.length to the third power. And then we want to export our cube class. So we'll assign module that exports to an object that exports this class. And that should do it for our index.js file. And now let's clear our console. And if we were to run npm test, all of our tests pass successfully. Thanks for watching my video. Make sure to hit the like button below. And also remember that your feedback is greatly appreciated. So tell me what you thought about this video in the comment section. To be alerted for future tutorials and videos, click the subscribe button and the bell icon. Until next time.